it was uh, the, the worst experience. The blood is running you know, onto his uh, shorts, and it was like, oh, I thought actually that he was going to lose his ear. I actually need to take something tasty, something really tasty, <laughs> in order for him to go inside the car. Because with Sydney we still have a little bit of a problem, he doesn't, doesn't like to go in the car, so he doesn't like uh, car treats at all. And now with this new, um, with the new cover for the back seat, it feels a little bit more comfortable to drive. Okay. I feel comfortable. I 
Hey. I do not stop them because they need this experience. Sydney needs to learn and respect respect uh, the adult dog so but at the moment when it go goes too aggressive I will probably stop them because now they already started playing quite Sydney quite aggressively or it's not a game at all <laughs> the funniest thing that Arnie Arnie is always checking 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 in with me. He's like looking at me and then looking at Sydney. I don't think that Arnie actually likes likes this experience. Sydney yeah, looks like we will have troubles in the future when Sydney um, will be a little bit older. From the Sydney's perspective, it's just hormones. <laughs> you wanna have some peace now? Yeah, I see. <laughs> now Arnie is going crazy. So Arnie, no! Arnie is going crazy, and Sydney is just near me. Probably he he's looking for protection. <laughs> it's your fault, little one. It's your fault. It was you who made him like this. Go. <laughs> Sydney is getting more mature he has his hormones level probably going up and um, they start a hey! they start fighting all right now this happened again uh, Sydney tried to bite Arnie and Arnie reacts and this happens all day long for a few weeks uh, now but they are getting to to this phase of um, setting the hierarchy now obviously Arnie wins because he is big he's strong but I think if we do not stop this behavior right now we will, we will have big troubles in half a year or so I remember one point when Arnie was eight months old and uh, he, I think that starting from this age he became more reactive and even more stubborn. So I remember the moment after walk we almost came to our house and he jumped on me, he started uh, because he didn't want uh, to go home, he wanted to play and uh, me, uh, it might, yes, with dogs it's always the fault of the owner because um, it's us who can show the dog how to behave properly. So he jumped on me and he um, scratched my hand very, very uh, badly and I came to, to the bathroom and I started crying because I didn't know what to do with him. 
uh, it was a period of COVID and we didn't have uh, access to the trainer, so we learned everything via YouTube only with him. <laughs> and it caused us uh, a lot of pain and a lot of troubles. Also, there was one incident with Arnie when he... I, I think that he was one year and half or something like this. We went uh, to the field, we unleashed him, so he ran uh, as he wanted. And at the point my husband took uh, a ball, my husband was uh, like playing with it, he jumped and he rippled his ear because he, my husband had an eye ring, which obviously he uh, uh, doesn't have now. So he uh, pulled the earring from the ear and rippled, uh, rippled the ear. So we went to the doctor and put, I think, eight stitches or, or so. So it was quite, um, quite an awful experience since at that moment he did not uh, respect us we didn't put the right hierarchy at that moment he allowed himself to touch our face to jump on us to scratch us so yeah it was it was the case was arnie yes i think that this is it it, it was uh, the the worst experience <laughs> when i saw um, my husband holding his ear and the blood is running you know, onto his uh, short and it was like oh i thought actually that he is going to lose his ear but yeah luckily it it was fine about sydney with sydney we have a different set of problems absolutely <laughs> not related to what we have uh, with arnie sydney doesn't like people. I told told you um, in the previous episode that uh, he was wild, especially when he just arrived uh, arrived to our place. We started living together. Every walk was a disaster. He was barking all the time on everyone, whatever. It's a child. It's a group of people. He was really, really uncomfortable with with others. Now it's much better. But still, when when we walk with him, uh, on <laughs> when we walk with him um, in the places where there is no people, no cars, no movement around, and then someone appears, he he's still reacting. Uh, with dogs it's important, especially for owners, for dog owners like me, who is <laughs> absolutely zero, uh, who didn't have an experience of uh, uh, living and raising such a powerful breed. So for owners like me, it's very important to understand uh, what kind of motivation your dog likes the most and what can switch the focus uh, from from the object to you what what can you use what what is your secret power and with these two dogs uh, there are two different types of this uh, motivation for sydney it's always food i usually buy um, chicken without skin, I boil it in the water without salt, without anything, just boil it and let it uh, get cold and uh, yeah, this is it, I use a pieces of chicken and he does everything for this there is no people, no cats, no whatever, no bulls for him exist when he, he knows that there is a chicken <laughs> and I can give it to him. With Arnie is different. With Arnie, food is not important, not so important, but the bowl can 
and make a magic result. Usually, uh, I usually do not take actually balls with me, but uh, if I take them, I can even let him go unleashed because he will never go to any dog, to any person because he is so obsessed with balls. He will just uh, uh, following me whenever, wherever I go and uh, looking for a chance to get a ball and have a game. With Sidney's no. He can trade uh, ball for chicken very easily. With Arnie, no. Arnie will never trade for any type of food his ball. For today we are good. We had a wonderful class today with both of them. Very nice to see how how they start thinking. <laughs> So let's see what is there. Hmm. Are you interested? <laughs> of course you are. Look at this. Wow. So So this one, this blue one, <laughs> this blue one is for Sydney, and this orange one is for Arnie. Nice. Billy Billows. On the first look, they they look strong enough. To manage these two guys. Wow. Hmm. Stay. Oh my god, I almost broke it, you see. So the color is very beautiful, I cannot complain, but oh gosh, Sydney, no. What, 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 what? <laughs> What shall I do with this now? Because stack just will fall over. Yes. Good boy. Well done. Well done. Oh, such a massive one. <laughs> looks a little bit ridiculous <laughs> on him, but I like it. He's too small for for this size. Good boy. Arnie, come. Mm. Arnie. Huh? Good boy. Well done. Huh? Mm. Easy. Good boy, well done. So it's absolutely new color, so he needs some time to just... Uh, hey, don't bite him. Oh. So do you like it? Hmm? <laughs> they look so interesting.
Thank you so much for watching this episode and we will see each other next week. Bye bye.